everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another reaction of The Walking Dead, y'all. We are now in season three. Absolutely in season three. So, um, the last episode, or the last season, season two um there it's very interesting my opinions on Lori changed right um there was a couple of comments that i saw that stood out to, actually all of your comments stood out to me so thank you all for commenting but there was certain particular ones one person was you know like hey guys don't let the person know or don't let the reactors know about the characters you like like if you're saying they're good they're bad because they could be influenced um due to your opinion and i can understand that i can understand that because it's like you want the reactor to have that authentic feel without inside influences luckily for me i generally don't get swayed back and forth in just in life in general on the base and opinions of what other people say. Um, I listen to what people tell, like, you know, like, oh, that's your opinion. I, but I don't really get swayed either way. So feel free, I mean, have no fear, I should say. Um, and feel free to comment down below continuously, and because I love it. And just know that your opinions does not sway me. But I thought it, you could tell because I was still team Lori. I was still team somebody else that people didn't like. Um, and oh, and I was anti Rick for a little bit. And you, people were like, what? What? You know, and I stood, stood, stood t 10 toes down, y'all. So I don't get swayed um, that way. But thank you for the person who commented just to look out for the reactors. Uh, and, and, you know, they didn't want their opinions to be swayed. So thank you to that comment. There was another, there was a few comments of the Lori fans out there, Heidi Ho, Winslow, where they were saying, listen, she was there's a lot going on with Lori. She's pregnant. She, um, Shane is now dead. She was upset that Shane died. And she was also really, when she hit the hand, but before she was going like this, like she was part of the Thriller song and Michael Jackson, then she hit the hands of Rick. And it was really because Carl killed Shane. She didn't want Carl. And then I'm in the background being like, then watch your kid. You know what I mean? I'm like, girl, like you gave this whole spiel to Andrea, the little mermaid, about how women, the women in your the group should, you know, cook, clean, uh, vacuum, um, uh, do this, that, and the third, and you over here getting ready for a second child, but meanwhile, you can't even watch your kid. Like, that's crazy to me. And trust me, I don't believe in a gender that should watch the child more. The father and the mother should have both equal um, parental vision on the child, or father and father, or mother and mother, depending what's, you know, who, who it is. Heidi ho to everybody. You know I love all. Um, so everybody, both parents should be able to watch the child. But in this particular situation, um, Rick is over there doing his big one with zombies. Like, he can't do everything, right? So I really did like the ending of this season and it really got me interested in continue on with this uh, journey. So this will be my only reaction of The Walking Dead for this week, I know. I know, um, but I do have to, you know, as I, you guys, and you guys are super understanding how many shows I watch, and I hope that you guys do enjoy other shows here on this platform. Um, but we'll be back to two more episodes probably next week, maybe, hopefully, most likely. Um, but let's get into this uh, season. You guys said you did like this season, and that lady with the sword, I'm assuming it's a lady with the sword. I'm pretty sure the built was a lady. With the sword, the Sith Lord, um, you guys said it was some of your favorite characters, um, so, or character, so I'm excited to get into this. I'm excited to see what season three is going to give us. The dead walkers with no, no arms really gathered me in that season, and the little mermaid is with this character, who I'm assuming is a female, due to the build. Um, but I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that you even told me that, I think people said the name of the character, and that's why I'm assuming that it's a female. Regardless, y'all, let's jump into this full reaction are available. Links are down below. Please hit the like button, share, and don't forget to comment. Now, without further ado, 
Uh, let's jump into The Walking Dead and find out exactly what this show has got to give. What the hell? Oh, look at Carl! No, Carl is grown grown, y'all! Oh, Lord! Hi, Carol! Oh, my God! Carl looks so different! Yeah! T-Dog got some scenes! Baby Daddy and her! T-Dog got a nice body, though! What's wrong with his? I've never seen an owl like that. Hi! Carol and whatever her name is. Oh, look at her shawl! <laughs> we move right along with Lori and her pregnancy. Not dog food. Listen, Carl, don't do it, Carl. Ooh, my baby daddy looks fine. They're like dog food. Go ahead, Rick! <laughs> yes, come through, Carl. I like this new Carl, no shade. 15, you're on point. Mm -hmm. oh. We got no place left to go. What'd you say, it's about 150 head? That was last week. Could be twice that by now. Only thing to do is double back at 27, swing toward Greenville. You can't keep going house to house. Need to find some place to hold up for a few weeks. She can't take much more of this moving about. What else can we do? Let her give birth on the run. I wanted to have this baby. Not that. Well, the others wash their pants. Let's go on. That's a shame. Watch the backside. Got it. Hurry, hurry. But that place is so big. That's the jail. Shut that gate. We can pick up these walkers. I'll do it. You guys cover me. Oh, Lord. No. As many as you can over there. Pop them through the fence. Daryl, go back to the other tower. Take this tower. Right. I'll run for the gate. Yeah, yeah Lori, don't talk. Come on, Rick. I haven't felt this good in weeks. We haven't had this much space since we left the farm. <laughs> Woo! T Dog, come on. Look at Daryl. Where's that? That's Daryl? Yeah, I think it's Daryl. Mm, just like mom used to make. We can dig a canal under the fence. We'll have uh, plenty of fresh water. Grow some tomatoes, cucumbers, soybeans. If there was any part of it compromised, he'd have found it by now. <laughs> this will be a good place to have the baby. Safe. Yeah, I guess little Shane over there's got quite the appetite. Rick's gotten us a lot further than I ever thought he would. I'll give him that. Shane could never have done that. Oh. A rifle, a kickback. I'm just not used to it. Pretty romantic. Screw around. Sing Patty Riley for me. Daddy, not that one, please. Parking glass. 
no one wants to hear. Why not? Oh, of all the money. Stop. <laughs> ever I had, alas, it was to none but me. To memory now I can't recall. Good night and joy be with you. Oh, all the No, comments. Maggie, you're ruining it. <laughs> ever I had, would wish me one more okay. day to stay until my I don't know if y'all get emotional during this. It's, I think I just get super emotional watching since like, I guess season one to now and seeing like their lives and how they're growing up. And it's still super sad to see everything that's happening in the world that they're in. And how their characters are changing, either getting colder and stuff like that. Although I love this new Rick, it's still super heartbreaking to see, like, how he's changed from being, like, the annoying Rick that bothered me, but was still had good to him. And you could see how he's just super, like, sh it seems cold. Cold, but driven to protect people. And Lori isn't talking, so you know I'm not crying about that. It was really nice. Good job, Maggie. You did something. Better all turn in. We got a big day tomorrow. What do you mean? It was a great win. But we got to push just a little bit more. Most of the walkers are dressed as guards and prisoners. Looks like this place fell pretty early. They have an infirmary. A commissary. An armory. Weapons. Food. Medicine. <laughs> This place could be a gold mine. But we have to go in there. Hand to hand. We can handle it. I know it. These assholes don't stand a chance. Mm -hmm. Laura, you can stay in the field. You're pregnant. Been a death march and they're exhausted. Can we just enjoy this for a few days? Maybe we here in a few days. It's no time for a picnic. No, it's time to get the house in order. What do you think I'm doing? The baby is about to be here, and we need to talk about what About what? Things. We've been avoiding the most... You, you want to talk? Talk to her. I'm doing stuff, Lori. Thanks. She's... Isn't that enough? I'm still here. You're right. I'm still here. Oh my god. The head is so Watch out, Maggie. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, they gotta wash their hands. Well, it looks secure. Not from the look of that courtyard over there. If there's walls down, what are we gonna do? We can't rebuild this whole place. We can't risk a blind spot. We have to push in. Listen, none of y'all get bit, please. I'm not in the mood. This is scary. I don't want to be here anymore. Silence! What are you 
do you think? Home sweet home. For the time being, we'll find a cafeteria and infirmary. Will you sleep in this house? I ain't sleeping in no cage. I'll take the perch. Thank you. It's actually, it's actually comfortable. Check it out. You found your cell yet? Uh, y yeah, I was just, uh, just making sure Beth was safe. I'm so exhausted, I don't even care. What you doing? Checking for scratches. They probably smell. Ooh, it's quiet again. That's a pretty good episode. Nobody, you know, got hurt, no fighting. This lady. She's so unbothered. What you doing out here? I need some light. Take this. What's wrong with her? How is it out there? Same. We should go in a few days. Oh, they're coming. You should go. No. I'll hold you back. I can take care of myself. I saved your ass all winter, didn't I? Excuse I won't have you dying from me. We'll go in a few days. Leave no man behind. If we stay, I'll die here. Now why has she got these walkers? <laughs> Just for looks? Not bad. Flashbangs. CS triple. I ain't wearing a shit. Hey, come on. Hey, I ain't gonna no fool, no. Sure. Everything all right? Yeah, nothing to worry about. That's the baby. I think I lost it. You haven't felt it move? Nothing. We're all infected, then so is the baby. So what if it's stillborn? What if it rips me apart? Stop. Don't let your fear take control of you. And I died during childbirth. That's not going to happen. Why not? If I come back, what if I attack it? I'll kill you before that if happens. If I do, if there is any chance, you put me down immediately. You don't hesitate, and you don't try to save us. Okay? It's been better. If what? <sighs> I'd never made it off the farm. My son can't stand me. And my husband, after what I put him through, tried to talk to him. He... You'll come around. He hates me. Put him in chain at odds and put that knife into his hand. <laughs> you know who doesn't give a shit about that? This baby. Now let's make sure everything's all right. You won't need that. I need you to stay put. If something goes wrong, you could be the last man standing. I need you to handle things here.
bleeding out. This was a great episode, a great start of our season three. What You know what, every time I see another episode of The Walking Dead, I'm always like, why didn't I watch this before? This is a really good show. I'm telling you guys, I think that if, if you want, if there's a reactor out there that's never seen The Walking Dead, I would encourage you guys to continue to continuously tell them to watch The Walking Dead because it's nothing like what I thought and envisioned in my head this show was. I don't know why I thought something so different from what it actually is. It's an amazing, amazing show. To tell you the truth, my favorite show ever, ever is Game of Thrones. My second favorite show is Breaking Bad. This is probably my third favorite show. Like in a series kind of like action drama type thing. This would be it. Fantasy world. Um, so let's let's talk characters. Let's talk about what's going on. Um, right now I have to say, as much as as much as Lori left a bad taste in my mouth in the last episode of the last season, this episode I have I mean, yeah, well, this episode I have nothing bad to say. Um, she's really suffering from what she went through with with what I don't know what time of winter this was. It was a long winter, honey. Um, the winter is coming. It came. So, and where was, you know, we didn't touch base on whatever we saw at the ending of the last season of that building. Was this the building? You know, I'm kind of slow. Was this the building we saw at the last episode of the last season? Like that building in the far escape and we're like, what? We're like, what's that? It's really dark. Um, I'm assuming that's this building because it kind of would make sense. If if it's not this building, then honey, I drunk the kids. I don't know what the holy hell we saw in the last episode. But Lori, in this, like, I felt, I actually felt bad. I felt bad. She's she's holding her stomach. Her child is about to drop. Like, like when the stomach gets like that, is it low? That means like the child's almost here, right? Because everything is like set in motion. Um, so I feel bad for her. Like she's trying to talk to Rick, you know, and I'm on Rick's side. By the way, he's 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 upset with her. He's upset, and I understand. Um, but I didn't know her son doesn't like her either. She said her son hates her. So somewhere the son is now siding with more the father. So he's not even talking to the mother. So that's that's also. I can't imagine how depressing, sad, lonely, um, and she also is pregnant. Like so, all of that combined, I do feel bad for her um, in this first episode. So I don't know. I uh, the, the the anger I felt towards her right now is on pause.com. Maybe we'll revisit that website later. But right now, um, I, I feel bad. I feel bad for Lori. Um, what's her name? Beth. Bethany. Beth, 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 uh, Bethonia. I don't know what her name is. Um, somebody was like, oh my God, I cannot believe it. Um, yeah, she was okay in this episode. Um, she sang a wonderful song, Part, Parting Ways or whatever she sang. Um, she had a good voice. And yeah, she did good this episode. Um, then we had T-Dog. T-Dog, let me tell you something. T-Dog was so happy to be in, in, this, in this third season. He's like, I got a few lines. I'm running back. I got action shots. I'm showing my body. He has a nice body. He's giving you guys, like, I'm a protector. I'm a knight. Um, I'm a warrior. He's giving you all of that, and I'm here for it, T-Dog. So, ow to T-Dog. Absolutely. Shout out to him. Daryl, you guys know. I don't really find Daryl that attractive, but because of his mannerisms, how he's like the protector, he literally is the protector of this group, um, right next to Rick um, and Carl and Rick T-Dog and Herschel um, <laughs> and everybody, clearly, because everybody got it together in this, in this season. Um, but Daryl is just a very attractive man because of his personality, how protective he is, um, and just he's a badass character, he's a badass man. Um, so definitely, that makes me want to take off this sweater. One second. Uh, no, I'm joking. Um, but yes, he's he does, you know, get you hot in spots that you shouldn't be getting hot in. Um, and by the way, it's so awkward when him and Carol like start flirting because I like I don't know why I look at Carol like 
and I, this is no shade when I say it. It's gonna come off as very shady, but Carol's gorge. She is gorge. But I don't know, I just think Carol's so much older than he is. At least that's what it comes off as. And it's not just the hair, you know, cause her hair is gray. I don't know, I just, she just gives me like an older vibe compared to Daryl. So when she was like, you wanna get naughty or frisky or dirty or whatever she said, you wanna fuck, like whatever she said. Um, I was just like, ooh, awkward. And like when he was rubbing her bot, like I was just, it was just weird. Um, but you guys know I am team Carol and I am team Daryl. I love me them. They do no wrong in my eyes. Baby daddy, Glenn, isn't he surfing guys? He. He is serving different looks. He put the vest on. He had the pipe thing majiggy shoving in people's face. Um, he was cutting heads. He was stabbing. He was just giving. He was to protect. Let me look and see if you have any scratches. Ooh, check my body, please. Check it all. Um, I love me some Glenn. I think Glenn is so hot. I just like I don't even care as long as we get Glenn moving in episode after episode after episode. I don't care. I love him. He is. He is every thing to me everything and you see he's still trying to look out and be the first one the first man in and the last man out that's his motto first man in last man out shout out to glenn the pizza the pizza boy he wants to deliver you guys some pizza what toppings do you want on your pie um maggie hey girl so Lori, um, <laughs> I don't know. I know people love Maggie. They really do. I have to spend more time with her. I was like, girl, don't join in singing with your sister girl. Um, your sister got the song down. She started it. She got the intro. She got the she got verse one. She got the chorus. And we don't need you an outro, girl. But I know you guys love her. I'm just waiting for me to get to where you guys are with loving Maggie. Right now, I have no qualms, is that's the word. I have no issues, that's a better word, for Maggie. I just think I'm just jealous of her. I know somebody said in the comment section um, that Glenn is with her and I should get over it. Well, let me let you guys know something, Zorling. I'm a jealous hoe, and I don't get over anything. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, don't play with me. Um, but yes, anyways, so, I don't know, I'm just, I don't know, I don't have any feelings towards Maggie. Her show got bit y'all, but I thought, I said it to myself, I was like, if they cut off that part before it spreads, like poison, like if a, a, if a snake bites you, is, is that even true? I think I saw Animal Planet where a snake, if a snake bites you and you cut off, you stop the poison, it, it won't continue to travel up. So you like suck it and spit it out, suck it, spit it out. Well, they can't do it with that, but they cut off the leg. Well, Rick did. Um, so I'm assuming it's going to stop the bleeding and I'm or the poison from getting to him. he Herschel passed out. He said, Oh, there's my leg. Like he was done, honey. He was over this episode. He said, see you guys in season three, episode two, and I'll let you guys know how I feel about that. We ended up seeing a bunch of men, um <laughs> It looked like they were, <laughs> it looked like, I don't know what, where they all came up from. They were all like, didn't they all remind you of like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? And the dwarfs all got up like this when Snow White was in the house and they were like, ooh. Um, that was awkward. And I thought for a second they were all zombies. And then I was like, wait, why are they all just like staring and making no noise? So clearly they're alive and clearly we're going to be spending more time with these prisoners. Um, so I'm excited to find out what felons are going to have lines in this season and what they they're all about. Now, we saw the black lady with the swords. What's her name? Because they didn't tell us, I don't think. Um, she is slicing and dicing. She is coming through like a whirlwind. The Sith Lord is here, y'all. Um, and she is gorge. Her and the Little Mermaid are living their best lives. What What is the purpose of her having those walkers with her? Just for, like, fact, like, looking factor, like, drama factor? Or it's like the the zombies, their smell, their stench with her, kind of hiding her from the other zombies, cause they can only, like the zombies can see like dead, dead walkers, or they smell dead walkers. So, or dead bodies I should say, so they won't go after her. Cause that's the only thing I could think of. Other than that, she's like, and those, and those are like the best zombie pets I've ever seen. They, they were like, okay, time to go for a walk, no arms. 
but we got feet. Um, so her, their feet were meant for walking and that's just what they'll do. Little Mermaid is clearly, she has a cold. <laughs> the writer didn't know what to do with her this season, clearly. So they're like, you know what? We're gonna give you the opener. You got a cold, girl. You got the flu. Um, just take a few, take a, take a few pills. It's a little bit of water, um, and that's how we're gonna move your storyline in this season. As long as she doesn't do anything dumb, but I know you guys said like this is probably the season where I'm gonna be like off with her head. Regardless, y'all, this was a very strong beginning of the season, and it really does make you want to continue on to see more of the season. And that's what we're going to do. Look forward to seeing most likely two episodes dropping next week. This is the only reaction for this week and we're gonna get into the movie Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, shh, can't say it three times. Thank you guys so much for being here. Check out all my other reactions and until next time, I'm off this.